All right, let's take a look at indefinite articles in German. Uh, this presentation is going to look at indefinite articles in the nominative and accusative cases. Now, it also indirectly builds on knowledge we developed through our presentations on definite articles in the nominative and accusative, and also our presentation on um, dare words. So, if you feel that you need a uh, better, ha don't have a uh, need a better grasp of those presentations, definite articles and dare words, go ahead and take a look at the presentations covering those topics. So what is an indefinite article? Well, in its basic form, an indefinite article is simply ein. Um, it's analogous to the English a, as in a computer, a tree, a car. Um, an indefinite article refers to uh, not a specific instance of a noun. I'm not, not referring to the about. I'm not talking about the tree, a specific tree. I'm talking about, I guess, all trees, a tree. Um, therefore, it sort of describes this noun indirectly. It's indefinite. Now, you'll also notice on the screen that ein, uh, that's the, the root, the stem, the basic stem of the indefinite article. But it also has a a dash behind it. That's because the ending I'm going to put on the indefinite article requires me to know more knowledge, requires me to have more knowledge about the noun that the indefinite article modifies. Is it masculine, feminine, or neuter? Is it located in a nominative environment or in an accusative environment? So in German, the indefinite articles are ein, eine, ein. Um, there is no plural indefinite article because that's sort of impossible to do. Uh, we can't refer to a trees or a cars. Um, you'll also notice that the only indefinite article that actually gets an ending is the feminine nominative. The masculine and neuter don't have any endings. Now let's take a look at the indefinite articles in the accusative case. Here they are einen, eine, ein. Now you'll also notice that in the accusative, the feminine and neuter remain the same. They uh, don't decline. However, the masculine indefinite article changes. As the noun it modifies as the noun it modifies moves from a nominative to accusative environment, this change is reflected in the type of ending that the indefinite article takes. Now, this same pattern is something we've seen developed in um, our discussions of definite articles as well as dare words, and that is the Oklahoma box. Everything with inside the Oklahoma box stays the same. The things outside the Oklahoma box change. So essentially, again, the only thing we really have to look at here are masculine nouns in nominative and accusative. So to summarize, indefinite articles have a root. This root is ein. Uh, based on whether the noun the indefinite article modifies is a masculine, feminine, or neuter noun, and whether this noun is located in a nominative or accusative environment, I'm going to put the appropriate ending on. There is also, you'll notice, no plural indefinite article. And also, the masculine and neuter nouns do not take an ending. Not, not nouns, the masculine and neuter indefinite articles do not take an ending. So let's take a look at, we've, we've sort of built our knowledge up, uh, looked at the charts. Let's apply this to some uh, real life sentences. So, das ist eine Lampe. That is a lamp. Now, I know that Lampe is going to be a feminine singular noun. It's die Lampe. And I also know that we're in the nominative case because the verb ist. I'm talking about the, the lamp, or a characteristic of a lamp, or I'm simply identifying the lamp as being a lamp. Therefore, um, there is no action performed in the sentence. So I'm going to be doing nominative case. Das ist eine Lampe. 
I'm going to use the nominative feminine form of the indefinite article, eine. Now if I take this sentence and move Lampe into an accusative environment, I need to introduce another actor, someone who actually does something in the sentence. So I'm going to introduce the pronoun, the personal pronoun, er, he. Er hat eine Lampe. He has a lamp. Um, now, I'm still dealing with a feminine singular noun, die Lampe. Um, it receives the action of being had, therefore I'm going to use the accusative feminine form of the indefinite article, eine. Er hat eine Lampe. However, as we already talked about, it's inside the Oklahoma box, so it doesn't change. It looks the same, but actually we're, it's, we're dealing with an accusative form of the indefinite article. All right, well, let's make that point a little bit clearer by looking at a same sentence or a similar sentence using a masculine noun. Das ist ein Tisch. That is a table. Again, I know it's der Tisch. It's a masculine noun. And I'm identifying the Tisch, the table, as being a table. Therefore, there is no action. No person is performing something. Uh, so I'm going to be, it's going to be in the nominative case. Therefore, I'm going to use the nominative masculine form of the indefinite article. Das ist ein Tisch. Now, I want to take this noun and move it into an accusative environment. To do that, I'm going to introduce another. I'm going to introduce another noun, pronoun, a person who actually does something in the sentence, and that's going to be the pronoun er. Er hat. He has. Well, what does he have? Something receives the action of being had. That is a table. Therefore, this table now is is going to be in the accusative environment. It receives the action of being had. Now, I'm going to, to reflect this change. I need to use the accusative masculine form of the indefinite article, einen. Um, it changes from nominative to accusative. So, as a way uh, to summarize, uh, the basic stem of the indefinite article is ein. Now, ein will modify a noun. This noun will either be masculine, feminine, or neuter. It'll either be in the nominative or accusative case. Based on its position in this chart, if, is it masculine, feminine, neuter? Is it accusative or nominative? I need to tack on the appropriate ending. Um, again, we could also apply the Oklahoma box. Feminine and neuter nouns stay the same. Masculine nouns, or no, masculine indefinite articles will change. They would move from ein to einen. There is, as you recall, no plural indefinite articles. And also, uh, the masculine and neuter indefinite articles don't take an ending. Indefinite articles.